All right, what's going on everybody? Nelson K. Johnson here and I am back with another tutorial. I'm going to show you exactly how to go beast mode on IMDB so that you can build your sync licensing contacts, okay? Now, this is a revamped um, visual of a live that I did in the music licensing forum, but I wanted to bring it to you guys more in depth and really show you how to dig into these and really utilize um, what IMDB has to offer. Okay. So first things first, you're going to want to create an IMDB pro account. If you don't already have a IMDB pro account, you can create one for free and you could try it out for 30 days. All right. So the hack here is, to try it out for 30 days, but definitely, definitely grind in those 30 days to get all of your contacts, right? And I'm gonna just show you how to make the best of your time in those 30 days, all right? So you've got your IMDB Pro account. The next thing that you're going to do is simply log in and you should come to a screen that looks just like this, okay? You're gonna see some top news. You're gonna see some of the latest news from Dateline, or I'm sorry, from Deadline. Um, so check all of that stuff out, but here is where the keys come in, all right? You're going to want to click on people, right? Now, it doesn't matter which one of these you click on really, but let's start, we're gonna click on people and once you click on people, you have uh, top star meter, actors, actresses, directors, writers, producers, talent agents, and managers. It gives you a whole entire list, but you can click anywhere. So we're gonna go with the top star meter, okay? Now, once you click the top star meter, it's going to give you all of these results. And if you notice up here, it says discover people beta, right so as of right now this is in beta okay they're going to roll out the official version but they're probably trying to see what people think about it but with this being in beta right now it's a good thing because you can use it for free until february 22nd or something like that either way you want to make sure that you're in a discovery people beta after you click on people in the star meter okay the next thing you're gonna do straight away is over here to the right, you see where it says, curate a list for your project. And it says, add people from your filtered results to a list, all right? You're gonna to wanna to create a list. And in this case, we're gonna start straight away with music supervisors, all right? Hit create list, and then you name your list something that is, um, relevant to your search again we're going with music supervisors so let's type in music supervisors and you can give a list description you know um music supervisors i want to work with or production companies i want to work with lot whatever the, whatever it is you can enter those details here and you simply hit create that's step one you create a list all right next this is the power right here you come to the profession and you want to look for people who are listed in the music department, all right? Typically, that's where you will find music supervisor credits because they worked in the music department on these films and all this stuff, okay? So we wanna head straight to the music department and let's see, where is it? Music department. Now, once you do that, you're gonna find over 60,000 results. We wanna narrow those results once more, okay? Their occupation credit, we're looking for again, music supervisors, all right? So you go here and you find a music supervisor. Now, mind you, you could see you have, listen, you have additional music, you have assistant music editors, assistant to composers, you have composers additional music, lyricist, uh, music arranger, music consultant, you have all of these people. But for right now, we're gonna focus on music supervisors. So you click the music supervisors, now your results, you have 4,000 results. Okay, now you might see some names you recognize here like Hans Zimmer, all right? But 
we want to filter it yet again right so what we're going to do is i like to use this and i like to start at about maybe two years you know so within the first two years uh so we're going to have 2020 to 2022 uh, let's say we're experiencing technical difficulties please try try again later that might be something that you run into using beta so let's try 2021 ha that's a little better okay i mean it's only the second day of the new year for christ's sake sorry so now you have 1978 results the old way of doing this would be you know you research a show you find a supervisor for that show you reach out to them right you do all of that stuff and it would take ex oh my god it would take so long but this gym right here really opened up the doors to really really make it easy for us okay now what you do is you go simply you look at the list right you can look at the list and you could click on them but you're going to select all now this is going to give you roughly 50 results per page all right so just select all and you simply click add to list where do you want it to go music supervisors you click that it's going to update your list boom now your list is updated to 50 people you hit done then you scroll down and you go to the second page repeat the process select all add to list now we have grown our list to dun, 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 100 music supervisors that could potentially help us get our music on tv and in movies all right now here's where the the greatness of this feature comes in all right you are going to want to after you went through here and you can continue you can go and get all the 1978 results if you want right but the power is get all the results that you need right because you're going to be filtering for quite some time all right um but use it use it do whatever you want to do however many results you can stop at 100 you can stop at a thousand right so we have our list now what you want to do is go to your list over there to the right side now this is my list right here of 100 people who have held the title of music supervisor between 2020 and 2021 all right next you're going to go up here in the top right corner and then you are going to hit export right what this is going to do is going to give you some filters here and it's going to export all of this information for you but this is what we're going to do you don't you don't need the image right you definitely need their um their name you want to keep the url you want to keep the profession you don't need the star meter because that just tells you where they are on the imdb star meter so we're going to kick that out of here um known for titles this is good because you might recognize some titles that you want to get your music on you might recognize some of those titles right talent agency keep this on because remember some music supervisors work for agencies and some are employed by production companies and some are actually freelancers or contractors or they just work for themselves right you want to keep the management on projects and development extremely important you want to keep this on and you want to keep this section here that says your notes right and we'll talk a little more about that in a few minutes right so from here you click export and voila the magic is happening we're going to put this on my desktop here and boom the magic has happened if you can see down here it um, exported my music supervisors list right now you want to come into something like excel or google sheets in this instance i am in google sheets now i titled my sheet sync licensing contacts 2022 okay I also have tabs here to help me stay more organized. So right now we're working on film and TV music supervisors. That's where the that's the list that we just downloaded right now. All right. 
what you want to do is go to file and you want to import this information so you go to your um, upload and I'll simply just drag it from the download into the upload section um, create a new spreadsheet I want to let's see I want to do 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 do, do. Um, I think it's replace current spreadsheet hopefully it does not take away everything but let me see uh, create replace um, let's go to insert new sheets either way let's see so import data there we go um, so that means I can delete this right here actually delete because I created a new sheet there we go so boom music supervisors and now what you see here you have all of the information and you did not have to search for it one by one you simply now you have like a whole entire list of uh 100 music supervisors valid legit right now here's how we're going to break this down here again it gives you their name url profession the known for titles their talent agency management if they have any projects in development and you have your notes right so here is where you start to dig into um using this spreadsheet or this list right right away i found i see this one right here known for titles you have x-men origins a uh, wolverine in 2009 cruel intentions in 1999 high tension 2003 um i've heard of, i heard of a couple of those um narcos mexico 2018 watchmen friday night lights so these are all people who are in this industry and you could tap in so the first thing you want to do is when you start researching these people is you want to utilize their url okay so you can simply just um, click on their url and it will take you to their imdb page now this is where the contact stuff comes in you do have to do a little bit of legwork for your records right now you will come here and you see all this information her um it gives you she has a talent agent that you need to reach out to possibly which is um christian um the agency there's the agency and has an email for the agency so this is essentially how you'd get in contact with her it tells you other stuff about her um, filmography. You have something that's in pre-production, um, stuff that's filming right now. And this is something just to point out to you guys, okay? When you ask a music supervisor, what are you working on right now? This is why they get tired of that question. She's working on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven projects right now. So it's virtually impossible to say, well, I'm working on all seven of these projects. Here's the music ideas that we need for all seven of these projects. So this is a part of your research, okay? This is a major part of your research and how you need to go about finding these people and reaching out to them, okay? Anyhow, this is stuff that you can add to your notes, all right? So what I would do is, let's try this. Con or highlight it, do a quick copy and paste, um, go back to my sheet, go over here to my notes for said person and enter it, right? So now what it does is creates a list and I have a person's name, then I have these notes. So that, now I know who I need to talk to, if they have a company, so on and so forth. And that's what you would do down the line. You know, you would go in, down the line, look for people that you would like to work with, check out their profile, and you would do all that and add the information in this section here, right? So this is for music supervisors. So let's talk about video games because I know a lot of people want to get into video games we're gonna do the same exact thing, right? So we're gonna start fresh, okay? IMDB Pro, we're gonna go into Star Meter, and we are going to, um, well it says we're, you know, we already have a list, so let's click that list. Actually, okay. So 
uh, back on track profession. Okay, we're going to go into the same thing. We're going to go into the music department. All right, occupation. We're, again, we want to look for music supervisors. All right. Now, again, we want to narrow our search 2020 to 2021. All right now, if you come down here to I think it's credit details. All right, um, genre, and then you can click on, if I'm not mistaken, let's see. You have game show. What I'm actually looking for is the, there's a video game section here. Um, search media, nope. Is this nope? Oh, okay. I think okay. Um, so let's backtrack. You have there. You go to profession music department. Look for music supervisor. Twenty 2020 twenty to twenty twenty one. Then you go to credit details and the title type. All right. Hit video game. Now it filters. Now you have twenty results here. Right. But the same thing would apply. Okay. You're in here. These people have credit details that include them working on video games. Select all and you go to add to list. Then we want to create a list and we call it video game supervisors. Right. Hit done. Now you have a list for video game supervisors and you can add them to the list which they should already i'm sorry it didn't show up there we go video game supervisors all right bam create the list give it a second and now you have 20 people on your video game supervisor list now let's go check that out video game supervisors should have gave me my 20 people. What did I do wrong? Add to list. Done. Ah, there it is. Now let's check out our video game supervisors. Boom, here we are. So same process. Top right, go to export. We don't want the image. We need the name, the URL profession. We don't want the star meter. We have known for titles and then we're going to hit export. Video game supervisors, throw that on my desktop. Bam. Go back to my sheet. Go to import. Upload. Drag it inside of my Google Sheets. And we want to create a new spreadsheet. Import data. And. Oh, I created a new sheet. That's not what I wanted to do. I'm sorry. Uh, insert new sheet and do import data there we go now we have video game supervisors right boom so now again you can look up all of these people right click their link go learn a little more about them here are some titles that they were involved in have some about section and as you see over here, honestly, they don't have any information and you will run into that. But again, if you find like that's not a good contact, just simply delete it, which we're going to delete the row. Right. So now, right now you have at least 120 leads that you could start building your list where you find out what they want. You start researching. OK, guys. So, yeah, that's what I wanted to show you a quick way to use imdb pro grab you a free account put in the legwork to do the research build your contact list and while i'm thinking about it let's do it this way too okay you want to check out um let's go to type in music All right you want to type in music library okay and let's see, 
So these will give you um, quite a big list of libraries. So you see extreme music. I know everybody is familiar with extreme music, but for the sake of this uh, really quick, let's just click on it. I'm gonna click on extreme music. And from here, now you have extreme music, um, music department, um, and what you find here, they have known for titles, um, some information of titles that they've worked on, right? Same thing. You go to add to list. Now you're creating a list and we're going to call this music libraries, right? We're going to call this music libraries and we'll go to create. Now we have one music library on our list, all right? So again, let's search for music library enter and again you would just do the the same the same thing right you would do the same exact thing so that you could build these lists and you just check out each one read their description and you add it to your um to your lists okay and at the end of it you know now you have lists of music libraries you have video game supervisors music supervisors and you were able to find them, research them. So yes, get out there and go research. And if you want to learn more techniques and strategies like this one, make sure if you haven't already, make sure you ask me about my Ready Set Research um, course because I put together a course. It's a playback from a live web class and I show you exactly, exactly how I use strategies like this to find brand new shows and get ahead of these um, new shows and open up opportunities for myself and my music by learning the information that's needed, by knowing exactly what questions I need to ask and how to find these people and how to talk to them so that you can get the information that you need, okay? And always remember, do not spam. Don't spam all these emails. Don't spam all these people. Be informed, okay, about who you're speaking with, okay? So happy researching, and I'll see you guys on the sync side. Peace.